Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to expand this photo using AI, specifically the, uh, I think it's called the expand tool in Canva. Hold on, don't, don't quote me. It's called magic expand in Canva, which I believe is a pro tool. So uh, let's test this out. All right, so we're going to click our photo. I've already created the dimension that I want, which is 16 by 9, because I want to optimize it for a real page on the website. And now that we have our subject selected, we're going to go ahead and select the size in which we want to fill, which is, like I said, 16 by 9. Then we're going to go ahead and press the expand, the magic expand, which, by the way, this is a little off in the page. Oops. This is a little off in the page, but it looks like it's selecting it fine, and I can always move it. So you see how it's a little off here? It's a little off here, but the remainder of that will cover that, so I guess that'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and press expand and see what it does. And mind you, I do have a video of how I do the exact same thing using generative AI within Photoshop. And we're, this is a series that I'm doing Canva versus Photoshop to see what's really the difference. And you can kind of choose relative to your needs and, you know, how you work um, to figure out what would best suit you. All right, so it's generating four different versions. This is version one. I don't love this so much because as you can see, there's a lot of imperfections here and you can even see the lines here. Additionally, the waterways that come in are quite blurry versus the original photo. So let's see the other versions. Okay, that one's not entirely bad. It's giving more of like a paint portrait type of vibe. Whoa, I don't know what, what's going on here. Maybe it's supposed to be rocks. I thought it was like a, like a moose or something at first. And then some more rocks. Okay, so I would say so far versus Photoshop, this isn't the best, but let's go with the best one here and like make this work. I'm going to show you guys how to make this work if, if you're not able to get Photoshop or Photoshop's not something you can use regularly. Okay, all right, so here's our option. Like I said, I know it's not the best, but we're going to figure out how to make this work. So what I'm going to do is remove Homegirl from this original photo, move the subject. So I'm going to go to Edit and then Magic Grab. And what Magic Grab is going to do is identify the subject and remove it entirely. And now uh, she's moved. And so I can even move her over, which I, get, I, I believe is a great feature, especially if you are doing real page graphics and you need to move the subject over in order to accommodate copy or whatever have you, right? Now, how am I going to get creative with this over here? We're going to go ahead and select this and let's go to the Blur tool. There we go. And let's just blur this bad boy out. I think that'll help kind of camouflage what's going on and plus it'll look like a deficit type of thing. So we're going to select the whole image like we did here and up the intensity and see what it does for us. Uh, let's do black. Okay, that's not bad. But before I do that, I can actually still see the lines here. So um, let's go back actually. And I'm going to do magic eraser. I'm going to extend my brush tool and I'm going to go ahead and fix what's going on here just because hopefully that doesn't mess it up because the brush size is huge just because that looks a little crazy. Oh, that helped a little bit. Let me just go ahead and fix that as well. Okay, it kind of helps with the lines. And let me see if I can fix this too. So I can really see the lines here. All right, that helps a little bit. And then we'll go back into the blur option. It hopes to kind of get rid of this hobbyistness. Okay, perfect. All right, going back to the blur tool. Oh, image, which is already set. I'm just going to intensify this. I'm trying to give it a deficit vibe. Okay, and then there we go. And we can actually move Homegirl like, perhaps right here so you don't see that obvious. I mean, I can see it. Most people are probably not going to see it, but I can see it. But I think that's a good workaround. What do you guys think? So in this series of Canva versus Photoshop, I think you can make it work to your advantage. Obviously, Photoshop is going to be a little bit more robust, but Canva can suffice here. And I know this little part here, so I'm going to go ahead and extend this photo, kind of crop that out of it, and that fixes that problem. We can even make her a tad bit smaller. And there you go. You can even move her down just a tad as well, just because you can kind of see that there. And there you have it. This is me circling back to this photo, not realizing that you can go further, to be honest, and I wanted to actually mirror the Photoshop photo because of the rocks that we have with that one. And look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at the rocks. That one looks a little wonky. That one's not horrible. Eh. That one's eh. I think it's the best one. But let me just show you how I did it, okay? So let me press done on this one. I was actually creating thumbnails for this video. Uh, and look at that. Look at that. I was like, because I was creating a thumbnail and I was like, wait a second, it's going to be obvious to know that this one's Photoshop. I think I need to add, you know, make it more equal. So let's go ahead and re-add this photo. Um, I'll just grab it from here, okay? I'm going to pop it back in here. And get the get the sizing get the sizing okay wow i'm like i'm like actually guys i'm kind of blown away okay because that was, that was what i expected i'm telling y'all don't sleep on camera we're gonna go to edit photo and then we're gonna go to magic edit and then you're gonna go to um, the brush size and kind of brush over what you want to add so i actually had increased the brush size pretty largely and then i kind of did one of these guys i was just like you know this is about where I have the rock is for the photoshop version or something to that effect all right something to that effect and then i said continue and then i said rocks on ocean literally that's it then generate you guys are gonna see hopefully doesn't give me a bad batch now that i'm recording i should have recorded before but again i wasn't even expecting that outcome and there you go see y'all y'all don't don't sleep don't sleep on camera okay wow i think the lighting doesn't match with that but anyways you can see that oh, i like that one you can see that you get various options i think i actually like this one the best but the lighting isn't the best with this one obviously you can regenerate the photos that doesn't look right um and i think honestly let's change our brush i think our brush needs to change a little bit let me make let me like make some parts a little you know whatever so that way i'll regenerate again so that way, we got a little bit more to work with. We'll see if we can get a different shape rock. I think all of them are kind of strange looking. And one other thing I wanted to mention that I realized again. Okay, yeah, these are good. These are good, y'all. Look at that. That looks crazy. Um, but anywho, I just wanted to share that you could totally, totally do that. I think that was a pretty good one. We'll, we'll let that be. The thing that sucks is if you if you generated some previously that you want to revisit, I don't know if you can go back. So correct me if I'm wrong. So we're just going to go ahead and select this one for the sake of this demo. But one other thing I want to share with you guys that I realized I didn't share for the Canva version is you can get rid of things like this tattoo, which I did get rid of um, before we started with the Photoshop video. So we're going to go to Magic Eraser. And I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to make my brush size just a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to brush over that. And voila, you'll see in three, two, one, it's going to give, uh, well, that wasn't the best, but you can brush over it one more time, and it'll give a pretty accurate um, blend. There we go. See? And then we zoom back out. Homegirl does not have her tattoo anymore. Sorry. Sorry, sis. And there you have it, you guys. I am kind of blown away, low-key, about the magic edit. I actually haven't really used it. I haven't played with it. And now that I have, I think I will. So there you have it. Enjoy.